You're watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader. This segment sponsored by Carlson Financial. We have been taking you through Carlson Financial's five core areas for your finances, the Epic 5i system. We have looked at income, insurance, and investments. Today, let's talk income taxes. Carl Carlson is here. This is kind of one of those areas where things overlap and kind of all coordinate with each other. So income yes. taxes. All right, most all of our favorite thing. Sure. Not. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we have to figure out how to best manage our taxes. Every situation is unique. So, and that's why it starts with going back to the income, yeah. identifying those sources of yep. income. What are they? So do I, if you only have Social Security and that's the only income you have, there's no income taxes. So that's kind of nice with our tax system because that living on Social Security is not easy. It's so not. let's not take some taxes out of somebody's own. No strategy needed there then. No strategy needed there. So Social Security only, no taxes. So then we step up to say, oh, what if we have some other income? Maybe some pension income. You worked for the state and now you have a pension. Now that pension can make the Social Security taxable. So before, maybe you were even living on Social Security and now another step of income hits you and now your Social Security is taxable. You got more income, but now your Social Security net went down. So how do you make those two work together? Because there is a certain amount of income that you can have and still not pay taxes on your Social Security. Almost fifteen dollars to $20,000 for a married couple of extra income and still no tax on okay. Social Security. So like some people with a pension, they can take a lump, they can take a portion, a partial lump sum of their pension. Just say, give me $100,000, that'll reduce their monthly pension, but they get a chunk of money up front which they can invest. Well, by doing that, it might lower their pension from 30,000 or 40 that was going to make all their Social Security taxable, take some of that partial lump sum now the pension is down, now the Social Security is not taxable and they can have more net money, no tax on the pension because you have a standard deduction of 30000 no tax on the Social Security. Woo, that's nice. But you don't want to learn that you could have used that strategy after you already took okay, the big pension. That's where the thinking up front <laughs> yes. comes. You're also, this is also the time of life when you're in retirement that you're doing things like IRA distributions and Roth IRA distributions. So what do we need to keep in mind with income taxes when it comes to yep. taking that money out? So same thing with the IRA distributions. If you're only living on Social Security but now you need more income so you're going to take it out of your IRA it can begin to make your Social Security taxable. So what you want to think about is, well, can I just take a certain amount out of my IRA, not make my Social Security taxable, and then flip over and just take the rest that I need, maybe for November and December out of my savings account. So this is your tax efficient withdrawal strategy yes. that you're talking about. Yeah. You have to think through the taxes instead of just, well, I need this money, or it would be nice to have this money now. Maybe alter that. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of withdrawal strategies that you can use to keep your taxes down. Okay, so how do we be even more proactive and think about what kind of tax advantage accounts we're getting in the first place? So if you're looking forward, so that's what a financial advisor can do for someone is say, you know, based on where you're at today, I can see 10 years, 15 years forward because I have clients at that age that are dealing with all the things that they should have done had they been your age. So at that point, we can kind of see forward and say, you know what, you're going to need to put more money in your Roth IRA. Don't put all that money in the traditional IRA or even for somebody that's putting all their money in the Roth IRA, we might say, you can put so much in your traditional IRA, get a tax break now, you can take it out and not have any taxes on it in the future for a certain limited amount. So Even with the Roth, if you can take it out tax-free, is there still the withdrawal strategy? Is how much you're taking out of your Roth going to impact all those things yeah. you're talking about, the Social Security? Yeah, the Roth okay, won't so it's not impact totally it. Yeah, but the Roth is used to integrate with those other strategies okay. to get you where you need to be. So you don't want to take too much out of a Roth because you might need more out of it next year, next year, next year, okay. next year. Yeah. All things to think about. Yep. All good advice. Think ahead. Appreciate you, Carl. That's right. Thank you. Thanks, we are going to be right back.